Hello and welcome to the Side One YouTube channel. My name is Ray and in this video I'm actually unboxing a new tool that I got for helping with setting up my robots. So this one I picked up on eBay for around $23 Australian and this thing is supposed to be a level meter. So in the box we get the unit itself and a bit of paper which uh, appears to be the instructions for it so i'll try and scan this in and break it down so that we can see how it all works so none of the buttons are working it's very light it has got a um, little bubble level on the top on the bottom we've got what should be magnets and it is on the back looks like we've got a little symbol to open and yes it comes with our batteries so i got some batteries here Okay, so this is going to be hard because it doesn't like being tilted back when it's on its back face. It goes into error. So according to this, my desk is on a 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.95 degree tilt. I turn this right around it says 1.2 degree tilt so it might need to be calibrated there is a section in the manual here recalibration to uh, adjust the calibration I'm not convinced my desk is 100% level in fact I'm pretty sure it's not but it should have really told me the same angle both ways so I don't think this is 100% accurate yet but with that calibration we should be able to set it up now I do have floating around here I've math set with uh, some angles so I can do some basic testing with it Right, so theoretically that should be 45 degrees. And 45.7. So considering it says that's 0.7, or it did before. Forty four point six five. This one should be around thirty. Thirty point three. And I think this one is sixty. Fifty nine point seven. So overall it doesn't appear to be too bad. I do think I need to get it well, need to calibrate it using those instructions now it has got a couple of different modes now it has got a backlight we can turn the backlight on and off we can zero it just by a short press and a short press on the hold button will hold the reading it's got pressing and holding it longer will change to percentage millimeters per meter so in that one if you had a, a length that was a meter long it would give you the how many millimeters up to get that angle 
inch per feet and back to degrees so all in all very simple device this spirit level on the top it, it doesn't show any real lean on this desk uh, I do have a laser level that I use when calibrating my robot dog in the background here I'm just going to try and put the laser level on this and see how far off it is okay so looking at this laser line I might get a bit of masking tape to show it better you can see the level there is not too bad but that is showing 0.9 of a degree error which is close enough for the measurements that I need uh, the measurements I need are within a degree and that's for this robot dog here If I turn the slide off, that's zero. Okay. That's actually easier to read on the camera. So it's not too far off on the angles. So for around $23, that's not too bad. The method I have been using has been to use the laser level and actually try and measure across the uh, robot dog measuring between points and then trying to measure an angle and I've actually used this bit of paper which has got 10 degree increments on poke that in so that it lines up into the bearing location now if I turn it around the right way it'd fit better and I've been using this method with the laser to calculate out the rough angles this will that gets me close to within five to ten degrees this should get me to down to one degree of accuracy and that sort of level of accuracy is needed when you're trying to calibrate the position of legs and feet so in this case I was trying to get by line of sight between this point and the pivot in the foot uh, for vertical to st let make sure the robot's feet are exactly where I think they are so I'll give this a try I will try calibrating it on a la level surface uh, I should be able to do that at work and uh, I'll report back later on if you like these videos, don't forget to click on like, subscribe, ring that notification bell. It's a form of support that helps me a great deal and costs you absolutely nothing. If you'd like to support the channel further, I do have a Patreon account and you can join my three Patreons, Go Lucky, Elm Morales 45 and White Wolf. I also have a Discord server if you've got any questions. Uh, come and join us on Discord. There is links in the description below for both the Patreon and for Discord. And we'll see you in the next video.